we have this uh, prod instance generally prod is like we have prod instance for this uh, very you uh, know we uh, our company have been uh, developing it from last two years so what happened was uh, like there is a scenario that one of my manager asked me hey rohit uh, uh, go and create a user so that uh, like one of my developer wants to use ftp okay so uh, okay go and like uh, as three or four applications are running in that production instance my manager asked me hey rohit uh, create a user and only uh, give uh, access for the user to particular uh, file and don't give access for the entire uh, ec2 instance so that uh, we can make sure that the manipulations will not be done what i have done is the dumbest thing i have done is i have gone through and i have created a user and uh, in sshd i have make sure, like i made that uh, password authentication to s yes. but what happens by default when we have when we create an instance in ubuntu we don't have a password for the ubuntu right ubuntu user mm -hmm. so okay everything is fine i can able to log in the, the user can able to log in using the password so i shared him he's working and uh, once the instance was turned down in the morning and it, it was turned up uh, in the uh, next day i was not able to log into the ubuntu because i don't have password and i set uh, password authentication to s in sssd and uh, for this user i can able to log in right the new user i didn't given him sudo user sudo permissions he don't have access to uh, go to any other users files so what happens like uh, from the luckiest thing i have is i have a cron job running to uh, run up the application every time the uh, the instance is up so that saved me otherwise i sh i cannot be able to log in so what i have done for this is like um, so this is a typical scenario i don't have access to the entire application i cannot uh, no uh, no deploy the new applications i cannot do modifications in the applications right because i don't have access i don't have ubuntu password and the new user don't have the uh, access to the ubuntu so what i have done is i have like during the stoppage hours i have uh, take the uh, volume snapshot and created a new uh, volume from the snapshot and attached it as the secondary volume to the new instance i have created and then modified the sssd persistence and then uh, the password of the ubuntu and then uh, uh, no break uh, remove uh, detach the volume and then uh, make a snapshot for the uh, for the safe case and then uh, from the original instance i have removed the volume and attached this volume there so that the ubuntu have password and it saved me <laughs> or else i would have been in a lot of pressure <laughs>